Let's go to twitter.com. And we're gonna go to, oh! What? Hello? Hello? He hello? We're just doing this now? We're just doing more fests? Nintendo's like, oh yeah, we're done with Splatfests. We're not gonna do any more of those. And then they just... Well... I guess... I guess we're just doing this now. They already did this fest. They said, yeah, they said it's a Splatoon 2 Splatfest. So contentious. We have to do it twice. Team Mayo and Team Ketchup are back. And it's time for you to determine which sauce is the boss. I'm just gonna... Excuse me? This is for the ketchup. This is personal. Team Ketchup will rise again. Or Team Ketchup will rise. There we go. Let's scream too. I can't wa- Like, they, they just do that? Can, can they- Can they do that? I, I guess they were just... Because you see what it is, is Nintendo... Nintendo wants to keep Splatoon alive. People are like, oh, Splatoon, dead game. Well, this is not. This is not dead game. This is good game. This is GG's. That's the first... Wait, was this the first one we did? Wait, 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 wait. What was the first uh, Splatoon to Splatfest? Like, not including the other one. Wait, was it really... Oh! Oh! It was the first one! You made it past the reaction! Good job! I still can't believe we're seeing a repeat, like, just like that. But I wanted to explain why this Splatfest is so important. I mean, w when you think about it, they're mostly just reusing old assets and saying, Hey, look! More game! A and we took it and the community more or less went feral in minutes? <laughs> You see all these people getting hyped about the Splatfest, which is really good. It gives Splatoon some well-needed exposure, because we haven't been getting major updates in a while, besides the patch updates. But those patch updates are more important than you think. Imagine this. You're someone who hasn't touched the game since the Chaos vs. Order Splatfest. What was bigger on that time? The Ken Sondra cover umbrella? MPUK Pro? Was Kensa Rapids still good back then? I don't really remember. But the metagame has shifted since then, and you're gonna have people returning whose mains have been changed in some way. Some good, some bad. And then you have the most recent patch where Nintendo actually buffed the Tri Slosher again? Like, the Tri Slosher. Do you know how excited I was when I heard they buffed the Tri? Like, I even forcibly edited it into my recent thumbnail for the post patch stream, because I was just like, Tri Slosher. While the Tri Slosher may or may not see more use in the long run because of the changes, it riles up the emotions from people who played the game early on and saw how powerful the Tri was. We'll be seeing an influx of players leading up to the Splatfest, and they're gonna be tempted to try new things and go back to old things if they seem worth it. And that's how this game grows. When old players come back and get interested in the game again, you have a few things that can happen. A majority of them are just gonna probably stop after the Splatfest happens, and that's okay. Like, the fact they chose to come back at all just shows how much people care about Splatoon deep down, even if they don't have an interest in playing in the long term. These people's temporary interest signals to those outside of the community that there still is a large, active fan base for the game, which can pull in completely new people who may not even own Splatoon 2 yet. This is a great time to enjoy Splatoon 2, and if you have a friend who's like teetering on the edge of being interested in the game, now is a good time for them to give it a shot. After all, Nintendo is doing a free trial of the game again soon. Those that don't leave after the Splatfest and want to keep playing the game are people who can integrate into the community. And many of these people have a genuine interest in getting better at the game too. They're the people that'll make Turf War and Ranked Lobbies fill up fast, even though they never really stop doing that. And they might eventually become interested in tournaments over time. Whether they participate or whether they just watch, it's all helpful to keeping the community alive. Everyone can benefit from all over the scene, so it's important not to push these old players away. The last thing you want to do is tell someone, Hey, you're bad at the game, stop playing. 
That's no good. That's definitely not a good thing to do. If you're watching this video after taking a long break from Splatoon, welcome back! Enjoy your stay, try a new weapon, and see if it suits your style. Nobody really knows what Nintendo is gonna do with Splatoon in the future, whether they're gonna shove out a Splatoon 3 in 2021 or 2022, make a couple of spin-off games, just keep shoving the characters into random games for now. You know, I'm all here for it, and I'm sure a lot of people here are too. You you see any kind of Splatoon thing anywhere, and you just hear people in the background going, Splatoon! Splatoon! So, it's all about just waiting and seeing what Nintendo chooses to do, and this is how they might start doing things again. That's all I really wanted to ramble about, though, so thank you for listening. I'm super excited about the future of this game, and I hope you are, too.